What's up guys, David here and welcome back to a brand new Canva training. If you're brand new to the channel, don't forget you can click that big red subscribe button below and subscribe to the latest trainings. As you can see from the left hand side, we've got quite a few trainings already on Canva. So if you want to check out maybe how to remove your background so you can just have a nice picture of you, then click that button here. Or if you want to learn how to create an ebook in Canva, then definitely check this video out. Before we do this training though, I need you to understand that when we're gonna do this button now, it's best to have some sort of template or ebook or something ready to go. So that's why this training just here is gonna be perfect for you. So you don't have your ebook, then go and get this, watch this training, create the ebook, and then we can get started. In this training, what we're gonna do is show you how to put a clickable link in an ebook. So when a customer or somebody downloads this ebook from your website or from your Facebook page or wherever you're doing it, they click that link and something pops up giving you a much better call to action or conversion rate. Anyway, enough of me talking, let's dive straight into today's video. Okay, so let's get started. First of all, let's head or let's type in Canva into Google. Just in case you're not sure what Canva is, as it says here, Canva is a graphic design platform that allows us to create social media graphic presentation posters and other visual content. Basically, Canva is perfect for anybody wanting to create images or infographics or any sort of uh, design for your social media. Plus it's great for doing what we're gonna do today is creating an ebook or more precisely creating a clickable link in an ebook. So go ahead, click on Canva. When you get here, you can join. They have a completely free option, plus they have a paid version. The only real difference is you get a load more additional free images with the Canva Pro. There's a few other additional tools, but you can do what we're gonna do with a completely free Canva account. So sign up, create your account, and then log in. You're then going to come to a page that looks very similar to this. If you're brand new to Canva, the first thing you need to do is go and create that ebook. If you haven't created an ebook, then go and watch one of the other trainings that we've already got on how to create an ebook in Canva. Once you've got that ebook or you've got your download ready to go, we're going to click it so it opens. So this is the one I created in the previous Canva training where I showed you step by step how to create an ebook. As you can see, we've got a nice, simple front cover photo. And as we move down to the next section, we're talking or telling the people reading this about a particular Facebook group we have. We're telling them to simply search on Facebook to find this group. But what about if we said to them, click the link below to access the Facebook group? That would make a lot more people join that Facebook group or follow that call to action because the link is in the PDF. So I'm going to do first is I'm going to make this a bit smaller so we can work in this area here. Again, if you're brand new to Canva, go back and watch maybe the how to create an ebook uh, training or some of the other trainings we've got on Canva because this is a little bit more advanced. So first of all, we're going to head over to elements on the left hand side and we're going to look for a button shape. The best thing to do is head down to shapes see all and then find one that has a nice round corner so let's go for this one here as you can see it's got a corner to it so i'm going to pull it down let's crop it down a bit stretch it out so that almost looks like a button now if i just center it in here got a nice looking color button button colors we always say that orange tends to work best so let's just find a nice orangey color so that is the button there. Next, we need to add some text. So on the left hand side, we're going to head over to text. We're going to click add a headline. This will do. And let's just type in click here. Let's click off. Let's drag this text onto the button, center it. We might need to make this text a little bit smaller. Let's head over to the sizing. Let's reduce this down to maybe uh, 72. Perfect. Reef size it. There you go. So that is there. There is one way we could do. We can simply select all this text. We're going to click these three buttons here and we're going to click link and type the link in. But the thing is, if somebody only clicks one of the text, they don't click 
exactly on the text here or they click over here nothing's going to work the same thing we could click this button we could link it and put a link on there but if somebody actually clicks on the text that will actually load up the button either so what we need to do is we need to put another button on top so we're going to go to elements we're going to find that exact same shape we're going to drag it over the top so let's make it a little bit taller and a little bit longer down the bottom uh, perfect so we want to cover all of it drag it all the way over here and let's make it just so it's just over the edge nice we're going to go to position we're going to position it all the way to the front so now this button is covering everything we've got so anybody that clicks this now will load the whole thing up but obviously the text and the color is missing so we're going to click it again we're going to go to transparency and you're going to change the transparency just to number one so that's one percent transparent so i press enter and now you can, can't even see the 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 button we've just added because remember it's one percent transparent if i click and move it you can see this is it the last thing you want to do though is hide it somewhere else if i let go here now and click off we have to try and find it again so here it is nice and easy so let's drag this back over the top with this dragged over the top there nicely now all we're going to do is press this link button at the top right when that loads up we're going to put a link in so let's put uh let me just go the best way before you put a link in actually don't type it in the best way i would suggest is literally type the link into your url press enter then grab the link come back and post that link for the simple reason sometimes the the links don't work properly we don't have things like h https or a forward slash at the end so make sure you put the whole url not just ww and then dot com at the end or whatever it is make sure you include the whole full length and then press apply now what we've done is we've added a more or less see-through element on top that covers the whole thing as you can see if we look carefully around the border it covers every single bit so if i click off now and let's press the uh, the arrow to download download it as a pdf and press download so this is now going to download onto my computer it's downloading and let's just save it on the desktop and press save now if i open it here this will open it up in chrome so let's actually go and find the original file so show in finder and here it is okay this is the page we want to hope for and hopefully when i click this button when i open it now it will load up the website so let's double click opens up the pdf let's scroll to page two moments of truth when i click it you can already see it's changed from a cursor to a clickable link so when i click this now this is going to open up my website perfect okay so that was how to put a clickable link on your canva download it's a fantastic way of increasing what people do with your download for that example there i told him in the download originally to go and search for this group on facebook but now by putting a clickable link on the download they can actually click that link and take them straight to that place i wanted them to go like I said, right at the start, if you're brand new to the channel, make sure you click that big subscribe button below. Or if you want to check out some new trainings, then click some of these trainings just here to see what we have ready for you. I'll speak to you all very soon. Cheers.